In this problem, there's a flashlight with a handle that can be spun around to generate electricity and power a light bulb. Lucy is spinning this handle for 30 seconds at a velocity of 3 radians per second, angular velocity of 3 radians per second, with a constant moment of 2 newton meters. And this is used to power a light bulb that uses 3 watts of power and we're keeping it on for one second. So the 30 seconds of spinning powers the light for one second. We are asked to find what is the efficiency of the flashlight at converting mechanical energy to usable electrical energy. So we know that efficiency is defined as the energy out divided by the energy in. So this is essentially the useful part. The energy out usually is the useful part of the energy. Um, so in this case, it would be the energy that we produce as light, whereas the energy in is how much energy we put into the system to get this energy out. And, and usually the energy out is less than the energy in because um, we do not have 100% efficiency. If this ratio was 1, so 100% efficiency, then the energy in and energy out would be equal, right? Um, but usually the useful work is um, smaller than that um, because there are some losses in the system and energy cannot be created. So it's it can never be more um, than 1 or more than 100%. So we need to determine what this energy out and energy in of the system are. So the energy into the system is provided through spinning this handle, right? Um, so we are given how long we spin the handle for. We're also given the velocity and the moment with which we um, turn the handle. For the energy out, this is just specific to the flashlight, right? We're given how many watts the flashlight requires and we're also given the time that the light is on. So we, we can recall that um, the energy, E, is equal to power times the time that um, you are um, using this power. So if, for example, we have our 3 watt light bulb, if we use a 3 watt light bulb for one second, that will be an, equal, an equivalent of three joules of energy um, that we have um, pulled out of the system. Uh, so we can rewrite the equation for efficiency as um, P out times T out. And then the bottom is P in times T in. Okay, so again, this is what we pull out of the system in the form of a light bulb. This at the bottom here is what we put into the system in the form of rotating that handle. Let's work on the out first. So P out, we said, is equal to 3 watts. And then T out is equal to 1 second. This is just given in, in the question over here. One second, three watts. The bottom quantity, uh, we have P in, which is not given in the question, but we can determine um, P in, right? Um, so we're given the velocity, the angular velocity with which we spin the wheel and the moment, right? With this, we can find um, the power with which we are we're putting into the system through this rotation. And that is done by simply multiplying um, the moment um, and um, the, the angular velocity. So this is going to be equal to m times omega. And this is going to be equal to 2 newton meter uh, times um, 3 radians per second. And again, T in is equal to three, 30 seconds. Because again, this is given in the question uh, over here. So now that we have all of these quantities, we can plug everything into this equation and get a value for the efficiency. So let's do that. So efficiency is equal to 
3 watts times 1 second. So this would be the 3 joules that we um, require, that we pull out of the system, divided by all the energy that we put into the system. And this energy is the 2 newton meters times 3 radians per second in 30 seconds. And this is equal to 0 0.017, which is equal to an efficiency of 1.7%. Usually we express efficiency in the form of a percentage, but you can also leave it as a decimal. But this is our final answer for the efficiency.